Hey, what's up? It's Duskmos. Today I want to talk about a pedal that is pretty different. You don't see these effects around too often and you don't really see them combined. Um, yeah, and that's the Maleco Downer. Um, it's an octave filter, uh, with high pass and low pass. Um, it's got wave folding and saturation. Uh, the preamp in here is pretty beefy and uh, it's really creative. It sounds really good. Um, the expression input allows you to kind of control any of the knobs on it with uh, foot or slider control, which is really nice. I think, or CV. Um, I've attached it to an LFO and got that working. Um, yeah, super cool and definitely worth checking out. So yeah, let's hook it up and see how it sounds. This is Signal Colors. <laughs> So the downer has six knobs, three jacks, and a medium soft latching foot switch. Um, the foot switch isn't necessarily soft latching. There's still a physical click there, but it's not hard to press at all. It's pretty, pretty easy to use on the desktop. The first knob is for the high pass level control. The second knob is down, which is um, all the way down is an octave down. And then you kind of pitch in between um, from one down into all the way up. Um, and then this, this one's kind of interesting at 12 o'clock is nothing. And then you go all the way to the left at saturation. And then you can kind of see on the pink here, it goes from low to high, then to nothing and then to high wave folding and then down to nothing. So um, it's kind of like a level control that sort of starts at 12 o'clock and works in either direction, kind of different. This is the low pass um, filter control and it kind of picks up where the high pass leaves off. There's a blend control between dry and wet and the preamp level control. There's the expression input, um, which I like to use with the slider, um, but you can use with the normal foot pedal. Um, obviously signal in, signal out, power down here. And yeah, that's the downer. So here I've got the Laura Mill keyed Moss Tone, the Maleco downer, and then we've got the Old Blood Noise Endeavors um, expression slider, which is really handy for this type of setup. Um, really kind of like pedal use and on a desktop with synths and things. This is a, a really nice addition. So the clean tone sounds like this. So yeah, that's the clean tone, but we kick on the downer. And you hear this sort of thinned out kind of tone. And you've got high pass filter, low pass filter, a blend, um, an octave down, uh, a blender really between saturation and wave folder, but um, as you hit noon, it's neither. So you kind of just turn left to right into one or the other and just a preamp control. So you can really see. Changes pretty drastically. And you add the down octave, or octave down. It makes things pretty intense. It goes 100% uh, wet or dry. And the low pass and high pass filters work in tandem so you can... So there you go, we're cutting everything. I can hear the faintest bit of this, but I, I bet it doesn't come through on camera. Bring up the low pass. back the high pass. And the preamp control really impacts the way um, 
this reacts, the, the way the downer reacts. So you can see the um, saturation wave folder. It gets way more intense. funny this is actually a, a wave folder um, built into the keyed moss tone here is the um the slider you can actually set to control any of the parameters which is pretty cool and they react based on where the current position is so um, for example if you have this set to like a high degree and then this has it move to a different position it really just moves between that and the position you have it set to so there's a relationship there but it makes it fun for experimentation and you can dial in some um because you can control multiple parameters at once you can dial in some interesting positions where it's impacting multiple knobs at once. See, the slider isn't doing much now. So we can maybe start off with a little bit more of a bassy tone. Oh, that's crazy. Reminder is what it sounds like clean. And then downified.
just what it sounded like normally. Um, yeah, really cool. Okay, so now I've got the 606 here paired with the downer and the Old Blood Noise Endeavors um, expression slider. Um, so this is what our clean pattern sounds like on the 606. We'll bring in some downer. Oh yeah. Crunch-tastic. Oh, that sounds crazy. With that radio effect. This is a hundred percent. Uh, wet. Turn the preamp down here. Almost nothing. So you crank it and you really get some of that crunchy, saturated distortion. Bring up the octave. affecting the filter. So you hear it really open up. Just kind of play the octave down here. Cross over into wave folding. And clean sounds like this much milder in comparison
clean again. I like when the toms come in. Let's see just what that sounds like. That sounds pretty crazy. And there's clean again. Bring the snare drum again. Turn up the tempo a little bit. It's all too fast. <laughs> Try the second pattern here. Go back into saturation. I think it's kind of cool. You could play with the um, the octave position and kind of get some, I don't know, somewhere between a full octave down and a, I guess it's not one up. I think it's more parity. But. Sounds like there's a synth involved. Which I guess in a way there is through the pedal, but. And then clean again. And yeah, there we go. Um, I think that's a pretty cool representation of just kind of drum sounds with the downer. Um, you can see it really kind of gritties it up and um, makes it a lot more interesting. Um, getting that extra octave down really takes something like the toms on this, for example, or the uh, bass drum kick um, a even lower. And yeah, it's definitely kind of an interesting addition. So the Maliko Downer gives you some amazingly nasty sounds that can shred your speakers if you want. <laughs> it's a pretty cool thing and it looks good while doing it. It's got the Bass Boat sparkly finish and uh, it really packs a lot into a small package. I mean look at it compared to a normal size pedal. Even though it's small in size, it's big in features and control. It's got a soft latching foot switch, um, really good expression control and solid build. The high pass and low pass filtering all the way down to zero really lets you tailor the signals that pass through and the octave shift goes way down. And the saturation and wave folding really adds some sonic complexity to the sound. The wide expression control is really cool. Being able to assign any kind of controls and knob positions to the expression position is just really awesome, and I wish more pedals had that. 
The downside, I'd say it's a bit hard to control gain. Small movements can really translate into big changes in the volume, and that's something to really watch out for. Overall, I think it's a really interesting pedal that can filter, octave shift, boost, and even destroy your sound, and if you really want to add some crunch, I think this is a good bet.